This morning on The Dish, chef, entrepreneur, and cookbook author Melba Wilson. Since opening in 2005, her namesake Harlem, New York restaurant has become a favorite stop for Southern classics for both locals and famous names from around the world. She's the author of the cookbook Melba's American Comfort. And now for the first time, she will be opening up a second restaurant location in New Jersey. I got a chance to join her to see how she whips up her magic. all know each other. Chef Melba Wilson knows her town. There's a lot of uh, retail space, so of course we want to get them filled up. Her neighbors. What this is one of my of dearest <laughs> friends here. And her history here. So, here we have Frederick Douglass, the monument, the statue, the man. It's why she chose this very corner for her namesake. I wanted this corner because that block was one of the most notorious drug blocks in Harlem. And I wanted to show kids in my community, I don't want you to do that. I want you to come here. You can get a job. You had an opportunity to make an honest living. For nearly 20 years, she's devoted her whole heart to Melba's. I'm born, bred, and buttered right here in this community. A restaurant where New York City appetites mm. meet her South Carolina roots. Crispy on the outside. Mm -mm. It gives us great pleasure here at Melba's to capture this moment and using food as a vehicle to bring people together. She does it with the foods we've all grown familiar with. There's her mac and cheese. Oh, look at that. You see that cheese string? Ooh, That's what we're looking for. Right Candied yams, collards, and peas and rice. You know, because I put hot sauce on everything. All a fusion, ready to accept her special homemade hot sauce. Mm, that's the way to eat that's it. That's the way to eat it. It's got to have a little taste of something else on it, right? You got some vinegar in there. I like that vinegar. Put some of this in here. Of course, that taste starts in the kitchen, where she showed me her special recipe for a signature favorite, southern fried chicken and eggnog waffles. It's like shake and bake. Girl, shaking and baking it, baby. Come on. In this small kitchen. You know, I'm going to leave the kitchen, and I'm going to let you I'm gonna let you take over. Every year, they churn out more than 700,000 orders. And that's plenty. Beautiful. It's the same waffle that I actually beat Bobby Flay with. As in throw down with Bobby Flay. Happy Juneteenth, Queen. Happy Juneteenth, yes! Fitting that our dish is dedicated to Emancipation Day. Freedom Day, 1865. Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm. we finally have our freedom. And however, as you stated, it wasn't recognized until last year by President Biden as a federal holiday. Because to Wilson, every bite is steeped in its culinary tradition. Uh, collard greens were extremely bitter. And it was the food that was considered garbage food. And we had to take this food, season it up so that we can go and, and work back on the plantations, picking cotton, et cetera. So it's interesting that it's now a delicacy. Um, but as I like to call it, comfort food. Mm. It's food that not just comforts the soul, comforts the spirit and the mind. Wilson's career began on Wall Street at an insurance adjustment agency. But while she earned a great living, she didn't even have a bank account. I'd saved up money under my mattress for years. Had no Literally under your mattress? Girl, my family's from the South, OK? <laughs> <laughs> That's a habit that I inherited. How much had you saved up? You don't want to know. Tell me. It was $312,000. In your mattress? <laughs> she may be down home, but she got her training all over the map, from the once renowned windows on the world downtown to a world famous eatery on 126th Street. My Aunt Sylvia asked me to come and help her up at Sylvia's one day. As in Sylvia Woods, the Harlem queen of soul food. August will make 60 years that Sylvia's has been a staple, visited by kings, queens, uh, but most importantly, loved by locals. Yeah. And she was a big inspiration to me. She passed away 10 years ago. I see that it still is very emotional yeah, for you. Yeah. Yeah, she gave me an opportunity and took me from a cashier to back of the house. In front of, uh, she just taught me so much about the industry. And Wilson has helped to oversee that industry in New York during the pandemic as president of the NYC Hospitality Alliance and the mayor's COVID-19 Small Business Advisory Council. It taught me the importance of being able to sit down and converse 
with one another. You know, my grandmother always said to me, Melby, God gave you two ears so you can listen twice as much as you speak. And it taught me the importance of what my grandmother Mia said, listening. She runs her own mini empire with book and TV deals, all while managing through the pandemic delays of her two new eateries, one in Newark later this year, the other at one of her old childhood haunts in Central Park, the Woolman Rink. We only had one income coming in. We would go stand over the promenade and we would watch people skate. Wow. That was our entertainment. Full circle moment, there will be a Melba's <gasps> on the promenade <laughs> in the same spot that me and my family used to stand and watch people skate. How about that? Things are changing. It allows her to take in the sweetness life has to offer even if it's simply in her favorite dessert. It is about the red velvet. Mm. You're tasting the hints of... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is that taste? It's a little what? cocoa powder. Chocolate? Yes. That's oh my what it God. is. Well, I have to say, cheers, sis. Cheers to Juneteenth. Juneteenth! Ah! Yes! Mm. Freedom. Girl, finally. <laughs> we don't have any red velvet cake on the table. We got everything no. else. So look at oh this. Gosh. The fried chicken and eggnog waffles, the potato salad, the collards, the peas and rice, short ribs, and the mac and cheese with the string. Ah, uh, unbelievable. And her signature cocktail. It's got a little rum in it. I don't even know what the name is, but it's good. I have no doubt. And what a, what a spread. Yeah. Every, you know, it's been a while since we had a spread Years. like this. Mm, mm, mm. And it's she, all vegan and diet approved. Yes, yes. no calories yeah, I mean, whatsoever. No, she's on fire. No I yeah, mean, clearly. she is on fire, and she is such a force. Everyone in that neighborhood knows her. Everyone in the industry across the city knows Melba Wilson. I can't wait to see her place at Woman Rink.